can't be happening. This is Virgil Minkler speaking. Anyone looking for ref- of these walls for days. Just won't let up. Yeah, he kicked open a hornet's nest. Trucks on the road! Damn it! Malik! Brooke, I need you up on that wall. Rogers, there's an Arkweller somewhere inside. Footy was using it last. Get on it. Well, you're with me. Let's start collecting scrap. You have to pull the doors off some of the cells? Do it! Now hop to! We ain't got much time. Okay. Your problems? No. A couple of the Peggy scaled the wall, but we got them. Door. That doesn't look too bad. You'll be all right. Just keep pressure on it. You know, I was going to retire last year. I was worried I'd get bored. Are you gonna introduce us or we're just gonna stand around here all awkward and shit? Language! 
Oh, fuck off, Virgil. Not today. I have told you a vulgar mine is a sign of... You're not wearing your button! No, I'm not wearing it. I'll need a casualty report. We're, we're cougars! We're really not. Look, I'm wearing my button. The sheriff is wearing his button. This person... I'm sorry, who is this? This is one of my deputies. I thought you said your deputies were taken. No, this one wasn't. Been giving Eden's Gate a hell of a time from what I hear. That's so. Well, I hope you plan on pitching in. No room for freeloaders. <laughs> oh, Tracy's all right when she gets to know you. She's right about the work, though. There's plenty to be done around here. Just ask around. Good to have you back, Rook. Okay, then. I really don't think Charles should wander off like he does. Deputy, none of my business, but you might want to ask Virgil or the others for an update. They know the places we need to strike. Over here. Gonna be honest, never thought I'd see you again. After the crash, I... I just remember fog. Then walking in a field. Then I saw her. You've seen her too, haven't you, Rook? Whatever she says, whatever she promises, it's a lie. Stay away from her, you'll end up just like the Marshal. The bliss. It makes you forget. It makes you feel free. You just want to stay there forever. But it isn't real. None of it. If Virgil and Tracy hadn't found me, I'd still be out there. Swimming in a sea of bliss. A prisoner in my own head. Those two saved my life. These cougars, they're good people. But they're hanging on by a thread. We gotta help them, Rook. No one else will. One last thing. We had a doctor. Well, a veterinarian, but he's doing his best. Guy went missing a couple hours ago. Don't know why, don't know how. But keep an eye out for him, would you? Well, hello there, ma'am. Glad to see you today, sir. Last two days, we've had a few people go missing. Only from what we can tell, they weren't lost in the bliss. There's been rumors of some place run by Faith's favorites. The kind of place nobody comes back from. Torture, drownings, sacrifices. People say anyone who doesn't walk Faith's little pilgrimage winds up there. I think we got a real problem on our hands, and I need someone to check it out. Someone who can handle themselves if it turns out to be more than just stories. Be careful, Rug. Most calls to the sheriff's office come in after the bar is closed. Who'd have thought the old prison would become a holdout for the resistance? <laughs> Your sheriff seems to know what he's doing, though. I got Tracy, I've seen around. Mostly keeps to herself. And Virgil, well, he's Virgil. I don't care much for politicians. Not too hard. Do what you can to help him out. I'll be in touch. Hope you weren't thinking of raising a family on this job, Rook. You know the base shit. Now you know what else you get to do. Usually it's not this bad, but it builds up. I was one day away from retirement. Damn it. We're supposed to be over the water treatment and feel like fate everything. Have all of us trapped in one place. You watch. Nice day, thank you. Please be good to yourself. But please also keep being awful to the cult. They don't deserve kindness. How you doing, mister? Good day, miss. Go cougars! Real glad this little fortress is still standing. Never know what you run into when it gets dark out here. Right now, but you'd be proud of the sheriff, kiddo. He's organizing some more real nice. Glad to see you, deputy. You know much about bliss? 
We got one big job around here, and that's to stop Faith. She took everything from me. My job, my marriage, even my son. All because of that bliss. You're one of us now, a cougar. We're a team that helps each other. And I need your help right now, deputy. You know about our water treatment plant? The cult took it and started pumping it full of bliss. You believe that? Right into the drinking water. What kind of monster does that? Well, she's not getting away with it any longer. I tell you straight, we're gonna shut it down fast. What do you say? I don't think we should get this tough. Secure in a safe place like this was worth every drop of blood. A monster job is what we need to rattle faith. Hey, rookie. Ready for some action? Hey. Sorry about before. Wasn't cool. Ask anyone here. I do tough really good, but the rest, well, I'm working on it. So, restart. Welcome. You'll like the team we got. Everyone's strong. And we need to be with what's beyond those walls. I hope Earl's right about you. We've all been trying to figure out how to crush Eden's gate. You ask me, it starts with faith. At least that's what she's calling herself these days. You seen that giant statue on the hill? Of course you have. You can't miss it. Good old Joseph Seed, the father. Faith had her groupies build that concrete eyesore for her sick pilgrimage. You seen them? Those sad fuckers marching their way to that statue? It's horrible. We gotta tear down that statue. Let all those Peggies know their father ain't no fucking god. He's just a man. What do you say, Rook? Go drive a big fuck you size hole into that thing. Most dangerous fight at the jail. I know you've heard stories about me. That I'm a liar. A manipulator. <laughs> that I poison people's minds. Well, let me tell you a different story. A true story. There once was a young woman who had been ostracized by her community, bullied by friends, abused by her family. She took to a needle for help. She was all alone. She wanted to die. And then she met the father. <laughs> he gave her hope and confidence. The father showed her how special she was. She was full of love and life. He gave her a new family, one that accepted her just as she was. The young woman no longer wished to die. She had been given. One day, the father. 
father brought her here. He asked if she had faith in him. He asked if she would be willing to die for him. The young woman who very much wished to live was scared. The father told her this was her test. He would have faith in her if she had faith in him. So she closed her eyes. father kept his word. The path to Eden is clear to those who have faith. Walk the path. She's one fat hunk of cement. You're gonna need heavy ammo to take it out. Or something with a mounted gun that flies. You're smart. You'll figure it out.
watch the skies. You got some choppers flying your way. Come on, don't act coy with me, son. understand what he'll do to me? Statistically speaking, that's a little disturbing. I'm hearing stuff. It's punk. Dang it!
Don't worry. I'll have you fixed up real quick. Uh, the, the, the Doc Tweak is on the case. <sighs> New world order is erupting all around us. Know what I'm saying? Okay, call, call, call me Tweak. I'm technically Aaron, but we don't need to be talking about official forms of ID, do we? Do we? No, 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 I didn't think so. You uh, don't look cultish. In fact, you have a distinct anti-cult vibe, which I dig. Hey, you, you know, I've been working on something for, for people like you who are taking on the, 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 the cult. You know, top secret, very hush-hush. I consider myself something of a professional amateur chemist, and I've got uh, recipes that will make you harder, better, faster, and stronger. No, 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 don't, 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 don't think of them like, 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 like drugs, but, but like performance enhancers. You like the sound of that? Thought so. Oh, but small snag. My, my, my supplies are low, so I'm gonna need some more special ingredients. I, I go myself, but, uh, uh, kind of busy here. If you're interested, find the goods, then, then meet me at Prosperity, okay? It's a little town southeast of here. Turn the tide for us at that jail. My buddy told me Sherry is offering a reward for helping find some missing whiskey. I figure she owns a fishing store, right? We could use the gear from there to help keep us fed. Want to get your mind? We could do a trade. Try this game. It's hard to make it here if you don't know how to take care of yourself. Ma'am. Good to see you, buddy. You gotta try this. Best game ever. Transform and roll up. Enemy bound!
you? I can't believe you saved me. The prison is a fortress. been invited into our home, into our heart. Trust in the path and you'll find the answers you seek. Those who fight against us seek salvation. You have proved it that. We all need guidance in times like these. So we must be strong. We must be vigilant. Now you'll see. Now you'll truly understand. Because those on the outside will see what we have built here together in our new Eden. Love. Come. And they will try to take from us all that we have built. They judge me. They judge us. The things that we have done. People say that I'm crazy. This is the world? This? This is the world we built for our children? Communities being torn apart? Walls being erected? Because leaders are too impotent to act. Bullies are too adult to lead righteously. towards our destruction and no one is willing to do anything about it. I can see that. You can see. But we are not crazy. So what are we supposed to do? We just sit back and await the inevitable? I claim to be a perfect man. But I saw what was coming and I chose to act. To lead because society is broken and the only way forward is to go back to the way things once were innocent and pure so safe and protected in our garden I can save you
Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of us. <laughs> hey, Sheriff. A couple didn't make it back. Boys Wait, said... Anybody grab Burke? Brady, supposedly, but... Well, where the hell's Grady? Ah, oh, Jesus. Now, you just... You just relax. Lie back. I'll see you in the morning. Christ. You come out of the bliss too fast. Shit's liable to scramble your fucking brains. Cougars at the jail can't say enough good things about you. I thought we lost you to that bliss, deputy. Thank God for that sheriff of yours. Appreciate your help. See what you can do to help these folks out. Hey there. I shot an angel, point blank, and the thing kept coming at me. Had to get a headshot before it fell. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I am Charlemagne Victor Beauchamp. Now, if you require more brevity in your day-to-day -day life, you can just call me Sharky. Welcome to the Disco Inferno, man. It's my special place where I can just be me, without the prying eyes of my PO, or witnesses, or law enforcement types such as yourself. Here is where I am free to unleash my fire and mayhem in a pants-free, consequence-free environment. I have pants on now, yes, but who knows what the next half hour, 45 minutes hold. Got a sweet ass sound system rigged for 110 decibels of the hottest music ever created. Every time I crank it up, man, those dipshit cult angels, they just come running, and I can't tell if they love it or hate it, but I'm telling you, it sure is fun to melt their faces off. And don't worry, man, the angels, they's already brain dead. I'm just giving them a glorious send off to disco heaven, man. You wanna help? It's good fun, man. I promise not to tell anyone. We don't even have to wear pants or nothing. I supply the music, and I use the flamethrower to make them dance, and you use your, um, I don't know, whatever it is you got. Let's just burn this mother down.
That was fun. Man, I wish all cops were cool like you. What can I say, amigo? You and me, we got chemistry. We're like, we're like a freaking team. All right, get back out there, man. Call me next time you're taking on the angels.
anyone so much as moves is gonna get a book. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 